Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Howdy, friends. Oh, boy. I'm tired. <laughs> I, so yeah, I mean, I planned a hike today, right? I already knew that's going to be going on a hike today and stuff. So like, that's all, that was all part of the plan. What I didn't plan on was more or less getting lost in the woods. Not like literally lost, you know, I was fine. I wasn't like that far from civilization or anything like that. It's just instead of like following the trail. Okay. I should probably like start from the beginning. Kind of, there's a trail that I've been on counting today like five times something like that but for one reason or another i've never been able to actually like finish that trail right like i'd always get you know halfway through it or whatever and then i'd have to turn around because i had things i had to do or whatever but today i purposefully left like with enough time that i should be able to finish the trail so that was the plan whenever whenever i left today i was gonna i was going to finish this trail so I get out there a little later than I expected, but not not super late. Hey, Noodle, and uh, welcome, love, and start walking it, get to a fork in the road, and we are like, there's plenty of time. Instead of just like going the way we're supposed to go, we'll just go this direction <laughs> instead. And then what happened, we just kind of kept doing that. So the, <laughs> the longest trail where I was is like two and a half miles. The absolute longest. I ended up walking about six miles because just like kept going around in circles, basically. Um, like not, not literally around in circles, but just like around different places. So yeah, but it's fine. Uh, that's why I'm late though. And it was really nice. It's a relatively nice day outside. And uh, I just, I like being in the woods and stuff. So like that was nice as well. And yeah, it was a good time. It was fun. Anyways, but now let's get lost in some dungeons. Apparently there were some items in here. I don't know when items started appearing in here. We got a gourd. Increases max value of thirst meter. Yes. Many thank for that game. That's pretty sick. And then we picked up something else too. Fruit of Eden. Incredibly delicious fruit increases max health value. That's also super helpful. Bruh, how long has that ship been sitting in here and we haven't been, you know, using it? That's crazy. Adventure manual? No, I don't think we need that. Uh, what's the sort button? There we go. So we got food. We got soap. We got antidotes. Stamina drink. Increases power. Ability temporarily increases. Okay. Drinking it increases power. Ability temporarily increases. So I, I think that's just worded worded weird, and that means that like we just temporarily get a power boost. But like it sounds really weird. Do we have to use this, or is it just like automatic? The revival powder. I'm assuming it's automatic. Uh, we don't have allies yet. Wind based damage to an enemy. Oh, that's right. These are usable items. These are all usable items. Okay. Trying to remember how all this stuff works. So I remember the biggest problem we're having right now is the max amount of whatever you want to call it, man. The de weapon health, I guess, is what they call it in game is like our biggest problem right now. How much money do we have? Seven, so probably not enough to buy anything. I think like at the end of last time we bought some stuff from the old gaffer here. I'm assuming like the mayor's house there, things kept appearing there because we've unlocked all these new buildings. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's like a threshold sort of thing. So there was an item there that we missed. I'm just not sure like, do we need to keep going back in and raiding people's houses or? Stonebreaker acquired? Or did these like already appear and I just miss them because I'm stupid? Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's that's what I'm not sure about. It could honestly be either one. But that was Stonebreaker. What? It's not a weapon. Oh, here we go. Increases damage to rock monster and flying monsters. I mean we might as well equip them. As long as our weapon doesn't break, there's no downside. We can unequip before we upgrade, should we choose to. Should have really fixed our stuff here too before we um before we talk to, to the mayor. Or before we bought a bunch of stuff rather. Sure, I'll attach him to the Chris knife. I guess. 
what's the what's the dagger looking like? Customize. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like the dagger probably has the potential to come better. I guess it just depends on if it uses the same kind of max upgrade level thing that the regular weapons use before you have to trash them and start over. If it doesn't, then, like, the dagger definitely has the potential to become, like, the strongest weapon. But if it does use the same sort of... Or if it... Yeah, but if it does use the same sort of system, then... I guess the only way you would really make it more powerful is by dumping other things into it, right? Because you can, like, trash weapons and turn them into power-up stones of their own, it said. But does that mean, like, we need to save upgrades to the dagger until... Oh, hi. I didn't even know there was a chest there. Okay, there's definitely another chest back there. There we go. Does that mean we need to, like, save upgrades to the dagger until we get... A bunch of really good weapon upgrades crystals whatever the hell it's called i'm not sure man i have no idea so those are speed two attack plus three those were just like straight up weapon upgrades i'm pretty sure um yeah this one definitely needs an attack upgrade we'll give you the attack plus three that's a pretty significant upgrade. Speed 70. What's the speed of you? 74. They're about the same. Um, What do we need for your build-up? Because that's what we want to get it toward, even though I don't think we're ever going to get there. You do need more speed. Customize. I'll give you the speed 2. And then, are we able to upgrade you? Oh, we have, like, upgrade powder. You know what? Fuck it. I'm hoping that, like, resets the weapon HP, too, but I don't know if it does or not. It did not. Okay, well... <laughs> would have been nice, I guess, but whatever. And then... The dagger, I don't really know what I'm doing. Just in general, to be honest, but... With the dagger especially, I have no idea what I'm doing, really. Just kind of throwing stuff on it and hoping for the best. I guess I'll explore all of the buildings again, just in case things have been added. Or if I just missed it last time, you know? It's quite possible that I, I just missed things, too. Some of them are, like, so hard to see. I'm just mashing the X button now and as I walk around and hoping for the best. Maybe we'll find stuff, maybe we won't. I don't know. The last building we were in was one that we completed and, like, watched the event for. So my guess is, is it probably spawned those things whenever we completed the event and I just missed them. But I'm not positive, man. We got we got our friendo in here, the llama? Yeah. Is there anything, like, in here now? No. Not that I'm seeing, at least. We haven't gotten the event for the house yet, though. Our house. I really wish that our house had storage. That's what I was really hoping for whenever we saw that pop up, that, you know, like, our house is an option. I was really hoping that there would just be a chest or something I could store stuff in temporarily. Beast Buster acquired. That sounds like it's a uh, beast damage upgrade. Or like that specific monster type sort of thing. That's my guess, at least. We can check real quick. Weapon. Probably going to keep working on the Chris Knife. Again, I don't think we're ever going to actually get it to the point to where we can build it up. Does it need beast? I don't know what symbol is beast, but all it needs is fish for that one. And for this one, it needs some other stuff. <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll maybe we'll put it on here. Sure. It can go on there. And then, even though it's not the right move, should I go ahead and upgrade it? Yeah, fuck it. Upgrade! I'm really hoping it doesn't have a limit. That would be the coolest thing, but it sounds like... Ooh. Well, I don't like the way the camera, like, flips around. Anyways, that would be, like, super cool if we could just keep upgrading the dagger forever and get, like, a super OP weapon. But that's the problem, right? Like, I'm pretty sure it would get super OP if we did that. 
Also, we don't need the super speed time anymore, so I'm going to change that. We turned it on because we were trying to get to night last time for an event. But now it's just kind of annoying as we're running around and keep running into... Or not keep running into, but keep having the, the daytime change on us. Um, But yeah, no, weapon, weapon durability is like our biggest problem right now. So I am tempted to go back through some of the higher levels just to try to find a weapon in a chest or something, man. Ah, I didn't expect this to be a boss level because of the chest, but... Oh, was it the first ally? Well done making it here. I had a good look at your ability. Or maybe it was just that stone on your left arm. No doubt that is the legendary at Lamilia. A treasure from the gods that only the worthy can possess. Hard to believe you are worthy of it, but that's not the issue here. Would you be so kind as to hand it over to me? Uh, get fucked? No? Why would I give it to you? I see. So you intend to use that stone to restore the world. A noble goal. But even if you restore the world, the destruction could repeat itself unless you defeat the Dark Genie. Fortunately, such a task is beyond your abilities. It is a being powerful enough to destroy the world in an instant. No weapon or man can stand and face it alone. <coughs> I won't be alone then. You come with me. I've come to this place, or rather this time for that stone. He's a time traveler? I need that stone more than you do, actually. There's a great deal about that stone that you don't comprehend yet. <laughs> Fuck, that was stupid. Is he just trying to trick us? Oh. Wait. Is he... Is he possessed? <laughs> Pardon me, I do ramble on sometimes. Well, if you're not hand over the stone willingly, then I have no choice. Let's see what you can do as the one supposedly entitled to the stone. Okay, I remember vaguely how to do this. Yeah, quick time events. Let's go. <laughs> it's more like it's less quick time and more just, you know, classic whatchamacallit. Freaking, um... Rhythm game, dude. Holy shit. Can't help but notice we didn't really seem to win that even though we cleared it easily enough. Did quite well. How's this then? Are you gonna join us? Do we get our first ally? Wait. What are you doing to the kitty? the hell? You amuse me, boy. You can't even handle an attack as meager as this. You cannot be worthy of the stone. I'm more worthy than you are. Do you see how scared this kitty is? I'm protecting him. You're just a jerk. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. It's not even that you couldn't dodge. You simply didn't dodge deliberately. Fine, then. That's it for today. I think I'm beginning to see why the fairies chose you. It will be amusing to see how well you do. Or you could just join us. You said I couldn't do it alone. So then just join me. We can do it together, you dickhead. You cannot defeat the Dark Genie even with the stone. Not yet. If you have even a vague desire to defeat it, you must become stronger. I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Have that little one return you the favor. See you soon. Uh, many thank. What is it? It looks like a fucked up vegetable. Changing potion. Wait, did like people get turned into animals? So do we give the changing potion to the to the cute little kitty and then it I don't know. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Bruh just turned into a freaking What are they called? Atla? Oh. Didn't mean to cut the kitty. My bad. Stray cat acquired. Oh. No. So what is this changing potion? Uh, item. Wait, where? Huh? Where is the changing potion? There it is. Magical potion that changes animal to human. So that is what it is, but... Okay. Does that mean we need to go back to the surface? And put the cat down? Wait, can we change, like, the llama? 
stream cannot jump this? Oh, but I bet you whoever the cat turns into can. Yeah, so we probably have to leave and come back. That makes the most sense. Okay. Wait, are we allowed to leave? Wait, I'm stupid. We just go here, leave dungeon. Mind connect to Fairy King and leave? Yes, please. Please and thank game. No rune village. So, okay. Where do we put the cat? Do we put it in our house or? Edit. Uh, config and assembly. Cute little one with cute little bell. Okay, yeah. So it goes to my house. What do you knew since she was little? We still don't have any of this other stuff yet. I don't think. I guess we need to talk to... We might have to wait for Paige. Before we figure out what this one is. If we talk to Pike, maybe. Excuse me. Oh, maybe Pike would know. If we talk to him a bit. But, meh. He wants to talk to Pike. Alright. Uh, Kitty. You're coming to my house. And now we have an event. Uh, hold on. I think this is my house. Here? Yeah. I love having the ability to teleport. Very handy. Is the event just going to be us turning the cat into a human? Oh, good. You came just in time. Look. A little kitty cat wandered in here. Nah. <laughs> the kitty likes us. Give this kitty a name, all right? Zhao? Sure. I think that's pronounced Zhao, right? Good enough for me! <laughs> Defaults for the win? That's a good name. Your name is Zhao. Hi, Zhao. Now I turn it into a person. <laughs> that's somebody's fantasy, man. Have a fucking potion to turn a cat into a... a human. It's like the ultimate cat girl. Wait. <laughs> Anyways, there it is. It's up there on the bed. I want to give it to the llama though. Fuck the cat. Let me let me turn the llama into a human. Guys want to tell something. Use item with square. Can we can we just feed it like random things like fish? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I thought cats liked fish. Where? There it is. Then we have like Hi there You look like a child I mean I guess I'm still a child But still Whoa I'm like totally a human How'd you do it master Are you a wizard <laughs> No Why <laughs> She looks kind of like a fox girl Not a cat anyways oh well never mind well anyways Zhao wants to help master with the adventure please can I please 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 say yes say yes <laughs> oh my god dude Zhao's become an ally we finally figure out how allies work that's weird please don't you're not a cat anymore <laughs> Do you, can you not rub against me like that oh, is that a new friend I haven't seen her around here mom <laughs> stay out of my room <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Fairy King's here to tell us how much he disapproves of what's going on here. It's been a while, eh? So you have an ally to help you through your adventure. Let me give you some tips about allies. The only place you can call for your allies is inside a dungeon. To advance deeper into the dungeon, it may become so hard that you can't finish it without some help. When you run into situations that you can't handle on your own, it's a good idea to get help from an ally. They'll be happy to help you. However, you are the only one with the power of the Atla Milia that can break the seal of Atla. So long. <laughs> That's very handy. Thank you. Oh, dude. Um, do they actually fight? Or are they just for specific situations, like crossing that water that we need to cross? Oh, actually, you know what? I don't want to leave my house yet. So now that the event's over, I'm wondering if there will be any more stuff just around here. Any more chests or anything. Mm, not unless they're upstairs, I guess. I'm not going to go back upstairs and check again right now. Not that worried about it. I am curious, though. <sighs> Excuse me. 
Oh, uh, I am curious if anything else has like come up here in the the mayor's house, but fuck it. Dungeon. But yeah, because if they can help us fight, that would actually be, I think, the biggest thing. Because, again, the biggest thing, like, getting in my way of progress right now, other than just being terrible at the game, is the durability, the weapon durability. It's my own fault, because I've broken, what, two weapons now? So, that's two more weapons worth of durability if I had. So it's like, it's definitely on me, but still. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to do better about that. <laughs> I'm not letting things break. Stream cannot jump this. Yes, this is true, but I'm assuming she can. Mm, so she does have a weapon. Um, I did not mean to actually use an item. Okay, well now we know how to use an item. Okay, cost just to use. Does she have like her own upgrades and stuff for her weapons and everything? Can I swap weapons between them? Slingshot made by carving wood, default weapon. I'm assuming default weapons all work the same for everybody. Where like they never, you never lose them, but they can still fall apart and shit. That's basically one more weapon for us, that's cool. Handy. It's kind of dumb that I get from like a lore perspective why we, we are the only ones that can break open the Atla. But it would be super handy if other people could do it too. Because otherwise we're going to have to like hop back and forth between them, right? Which is somewhat annoying. Like every time if we needed, say all of our weapons were about to break and we were out of repair powder. And then we needed to... Thank you for the five bits, love. So we needed to switch to an ally to do the fighting for us, but it's a new floor of the dungeon, so we still need to open all the Atla, then like it's constantly swapping back and forth between the two, and just, ah, uh, it sounds like a problem. Does it automatically, wait, isn't there a lock on button? Oh God, I forget how to lock on. Oh uh, God, uh, triangle? Is it circle? Okay, I think I might be locked on now. Oh, she's about to die. She's kind of weak. She's also poisoned, but with her being poisoned, if I swap back to him, it should be okay. I guess that's another handy feature of that. I see she has a ranged attack. I wish I hadn't gotten her poisoned so quickly. Get wrecked, bats. I think there's one more creature over here, right? Or no, it's a chest. We good, it's just a chest. I'm gonna swap back to her and see if th that's actually how it works. So like, she cannot open this. <gasps> Bro, that's so annoying. Like, use that as a lore thing or whatever, but just let it work. Or just like, play the little animation of them switching, have it switch and then just bring it right back even or whatever, I don't care. Just a little quality of life thing that would be nice if it worked the other way around. I guess it doesn't really matter though. It's easy enough to switch between them. What is this? All more stamina drink? I don't really like, I don't know. I guess if we knew we were about to be fighting a, a strong opponent of whatever kind, we could use the stamina drink. Small windmill three. Okay. Is it circle? It is circle. See, I didn't see the thingy popped up whenever I was using Zhao. That's why I didn't even realize we were actually, like, locked on. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we were opening the Atla. I was like, I can't move? Help? Because these dudes actually do a decent amount of damage. Oh, God. And the ghost is over here now. Can the ghost, like, what's he do? I feel like he has some sort of bad magic. I don't want to get poisoned. I'm cursed. Cannot exchange equipped weapon. That's super annoying. Thankfully, we did buy a couple weapon repair thingies. 
So it's not the end of the world. Small windmill too. I'm assuming small windmills don't need build up. They're just like decoration pieces. I wonder... So it doesn't seem like we can actually swap weapons. I mean, I guess I didn't really try. Like if we go to weapon, do I have like a new option? No. I hope it's not just whoever picks up the weapon gets it. Maybe it'll ask us who wants it whenever we pick it up. Either that or there's like unique weapons to each character. Or the their weapons just always suck. Oh my god, can't exchange weapon. Yeah, I can't attack anymore. Um, I can't exchange weapons, so it really, like, she it has to be her. Really sucks that she's poisoned, but... Just don't die. There we go. She can still exchange weapons, though, right? So what happens if I, like... From here, can we, like, cheese it? And then equip? No. Cannot disarm due to spell. Lame. Alright, well, use some repair powder then. Of course we would get stuck on the, like, regular dagger too, not the, the weapon we actually want to be using most of the time. I mean, since we, like, upgraded it a little bit, it's not terrible or anything, but still, it would be nice to be using the more powerful Chris knife instead of this thing the regular dagger. Oh well. What you gonna do? Tis what it is. Can't help but notice that like the enemies aren't giving us too much trouble this time around. <laughs> That'll all change as soon as we get poisoned by a freaking whatchamacallit though. Aw oh, you dick. Why am I stuck? Lock on, please. That was so weird. We just, like, couldn't move sideways. Maybe they have, like, a weird hitbox or something. I thought before when that happened, we were just, like, running into walls. But no, I guess it's just these dudes. Statues are just weird. Still, though, the only penalty for dying being losing half your money, it's not that bad. God, I just realized our weapon's about to break again. Oh, just use the repair powder. It's not worth risking. Do we have any way of fixing curse, actually? That would be even better. Here, eat some cheese. Release from gooey conditions. I don't think we're in a gooey condition. Got bread, a bit of water. We are almost thirsty. I was hoping we would come across a whatchamacallit, like a fountain. But I don't think I don't think there is one on this level. Revival powder? Hmm. Stand in. Change the ally when current character's exhausted. So I'm guessing like if we die but an ally's still alive. And the stand in powder will just like automatically switch us to the ally. My best guess. Yeah, we have we have fuck all. Okay. For curse, use more repair powder then. You're a dick. Bench. Oh no, there is a fountain over there. Okay, we just gotta get there before we get super thirsty. Getting thirsty. Yeah, I know, game. It's fine. There's a fountain right up here. What are the chances that the fountain also restores... Um... Curse. I doubt it. I mean, it doesn't do... 
poison. Yeah, I didn't figure. Would have been cool, though. I really kind of wish the fountain was just a full heal, but then it would be OP. Dran's bone? Why do we want Dran's bone? Can we actually block attacks from these dudes yet? Oh my god, we're already down to nine again! As long as none of these are... Mimics, we should be fine. Okay. Wind? I'm guessing that's just like another one of those stones that we can use as an item. Treasure key. Oh, that's for chests. Duh. Okay. Um. I mean, even if we leave, our weapon's not automatically repaired. So we kind of have to repair it regardless. I haven't been able to find a way to repair stuff without using repair powder yet. So I'm assuming you just can't. What was Dran's bone? Is that... Oh! That might be how we swap weapons between people, but it... It seems there may actually be, like, some sort of only certain people can use this style thing going on or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I care more about our guy here. So customize. I think Mage Slayer helps. And then wind, hold on, build up. Yeah, it does need wind. Okay, I guess it didn't need mage slayer. This one also needs wind and this one does need mage slayer or mage stuff. So sure, we'll go ahead and equip it. No idea if it'll actually get there in time. Probably not. Might as well try though. I still don't know what the Dram's bone is I just realized it's not anywhere here yeah oh unless I'm just blind which is very real possibility but oh, whatever down we go uh we'll leave so we picked up some more stuff for the town Getting more stuff in town is, you know, handy. We didn't get a person, I just realized, so we still don't have Paige. I wonder how far down we have to go to get her. We haven't skipped any things on any of the, the levels. Anytime we find a thing, we pretty much instantly put it down. Oh, Dran's blades. Blades made for Dran's windmill. Okay. Didn't somebody want a ladder? Or no, it was the windmill. Which we already got. Oh, there's a whole bunch of windmills. Okay. So maybe when we get enough windmills, something happens? Um, sure. We can put them... Uh... I don't know. Wait, I can't put it there, right? Yeah, no. So this is two by two. I was going to run the road up here. Could just put one on like each side. And that might still leave enough room for... Things? <laughs> for houses over there? Can I like zoom in? Which side has the entrance? That side. Actually, I want it like on the side here. And then we'll do the same thing with the other one, but on the opposite side. So, like, here. Then is that just the end of the river? I guess so. So I was going to leave enough room to put, like, a house over here or something. But with that said, I still don't know if one's going to fit, unless it's, like, a small house, then it faces this way. Ah, oh, whatever. 
bench drans blades blades made for drans windmill who the hell is dran it's not you right now you're pike macho co macho this is me claude and the odd gaffer huh okay well odd gaffer i have a tiny bit of money you got anything? Is the store open? I guess... Instead of, like, holding all this stuff, because we are starting to run out of space, I guess we could start selling some stuff. I mean, like, that sells pretty well. 50 gold? Each? Uh, I'll keep that one, because we do have at least one open spot. And I really want... Can I sell the manual? No. I really want to be able to fish. That's all I want in life right now. And the game refuses to let me do it. Alright, I guess probably repair powder. Um, Could get an attack up. Another attack. On our, on our normal dagger. We have a couple antidotes. That's not bad. Ten times more. Auto repairs weapons about to break. No. Speedy buying? Yes. Uh three. I want five. Get five of those. Maybe a couple more. No, we're pretty good on water and food, actually. Do we still have enough for any of this stuff? Any of the, like, gems and things? No. Too bad. Uh, I guess that's it then. Many thanks. Goodbye. Back to dungeon. I always forget that... Sometimes, at least. We just go here, we can click go to dungeon. We don't actually have to like walk over to it. But then sometimes it doesn't show up, and so then we do have to walk to it, and it's very confusing. I don't <laughs> I don't really understand how it works. Why sometimes do, sometimes don't. Whatever. Screw it. Let's try the next level. Might as well keep going down as long as like we can handle ourselves, okay? And now that we can buy repair powder, being short on weapons isn't as bad as it was before. As we can keep fixing our stuff. Speaking of though, let's go ahead and swap our weapon to the to the better one, to the knife. Equip that dude. Start working on getting some levels on him and stuff. You dick! Oh, I'm so happy they didn't poison us whenever they hit. I thought for sure we were going down, dude. There we go. Now if this dude curses us, at least we have the better weapon selected, pre-selected. Get wrecked, losers. Just gotta remember not to let this break. As soon as I start hearing beeping, we're putting this thing away. More road? That's actually nice. I appreciate that. More stamina drink. Game really wants us to use stamina drink, huh? More lamps. I feel like we need to get some more houses soon. Maybe some windmill wheels. More trees. Uh, this way. Maybe it's just number of assets put down is what causes the mayor to get more or less stuff. That would actually make sense, to me at least. So I wonder if we should just like place down all of the trees and stuff, even if we don't plan on like leaving them there. No, I don't want to be cursed again, please. I guess it would be handy to buy at least one auto repair thing, like weapon repair thing. I just wonder like how low does it have to get before it triggers? Because obviously I wouldn't want to auto-use it unless I fuck up. 
and then by all means, you know, let it be auto-used. But otherwise, I would prefer to just do it the normal way. Um, onto witches. And then, hold on, fire's higher than holy. Let's set that. We're at six. I wonder what level it actually means. I don't think it says in here. No, it just gives us a red thingy. Would be handy if it told you what you had to actually get it to. So I don't expect we will, because I think you only get five upgrades. So I think you need to upgrade the weapon, break it down, do that a couple of times before you can really get a, a build-up option on one of them. Oof. I slept okay last night, honestly, but I think the like six mile walk kind of wore me out. Which I find, you know, to be pretty reasonable. Come back, many thank. Dead. No, get the thingy. Stop trying to hit it. You ain't gonna break it open, no matter what you do. Carl! We got Carl! I, don't, I have no idea who the hell that is. Rocking off? Okay. I have no idea how bad that thing is, because we killed it relatively easily, actually. I didn't think it was going to go down that quickly. But... I'm not complaining, I guess. I'm just worried, like, how bad's it going to hurt when we get hit by it. Wait, can we just shoot you? I guess it's just gonna like keep blocking, huh? Oh damn it! I was <laughs> I was trying to stay over there, you know. Oh god, her weapon's like useless, ain't it? Yeah, it would break long before she does enough damage to actually matter. She definitely needs a new weapon, or or. Maybe just a good upgrade. More river. All the river. If we actually look at her weapon, our base dagger started with... I think it was like six or something that it started with. She's at four. That's weaker than I expected. Maybe it has to do with how long you charge the shot. That makes sense. And I can't remember if I was actually charging it up all the way, so... Yeah, this dude's like all the way over here. I mean, it did two that time, although I guess the other dude could have just had more, more defense. For these slow dudes, wait, aren't you a dasher? Yeah. I say, aren't you like supposed to like run at me or something? I mean, having... Since she's ranged, it's not bad. But my lord, is her weapon just weak as shit? Um, screw it. Status of the equipped weapon changed? What's that mean? Huh? Did it give us more stamina or something? Like, weapon durability? I don't know what that did. Poisoned? Dick move. Uh, we're pretty much done with this dungeon. I'm gonna try to just make it through without it. Without wasting the antidote. And there's nothing even over here but enemies. Ah, okay, they definitely hurt. Oh, we can't use items in combat. I guess that's why you wanna like... Uh, excuse me, game? Jesus Christ, I was gonna say, we're so far away! Why can't I do the thing? I guess that's maybe why you wanna, like, have some food and stuff equipped up top there. Which, actually, now I think about it, can't you, like, stack food if it's over here? You can. Weird it stacks there and not here. Oh. Well, let me take it out. Uh, okay. Stack there. Then we'll put tasty water. 
up here. And, um... I mean, being able to use an antidote in the middle of combat would be super nice. But it's fine. Yeah, take the antidote, I guess, before we die. Because I still want to kill these dudes. There's no real reason to, other than the tiny bit of gold they're going to drop, I guess. But it just feels good to, like, complete a dungeon, you know? To empty it out entirely. Ah! Okay, you're much quicker than I expected. The other one seems so easy. You're a dick. Can't even see where he's at to try and, like... Oh, my God. How do we... What is it? Square? There we go. Kill the Master Jacket real quick. Bruh, blocking, like, sucks, too. It just doesn't do anything, really. Wait, you're not dead? I thought he was dead. My bad. Cool. That totally wasn't worth the seven gold that we got from killing them. Uh, <laughs> it costs us more than that and like, food and an antidote, you know? Health is slowly deteriorating. That's fine. We're leaving. Leave dungeon temporarily. Place down our village stuff again. Config assembly. Did we get a new house? I know we got new, like, road and stuff. Road. Road house. I mean, I guess what we could do is, like, have the road come up over here, too, and then maybe, like, meet over there, and then we could put something in here, some trees or something in there. That's not a terrible idea, actually. So I don't know if we're actually going to get anything that, like, fits there. Uh, so now I know, like, there we go. That that's going that way. That goes here. And then... So we got some river. We got a bunch of trees, though. Uh, did we get any new houses yet? No. We got a new person, but no house to put them in. That sucks. Uh, river. So yeah, if that's going to end there, that's fine. And this can go... I mean, we're probably going to want, like... The river... To end before here? Uh, no, it should be fine, actually. We can just have, like, a bridge going across. Over to there. That should be fine. And then I think the last thing we have, other than bridges, is trees. Yeah. Oh, that's a pond. Trees. Tree, tree. Um, I don't really want stuff, like, here. I might end up putting another house there. It would just fit so nicely. Maybe a tree there. And then, I don't know. Back here somewhere, because we might as well put it down. More trees. Shove them all over in the corner. Just in case it is, you know? The, like, how many assets you have down determines what things drop at the mayor's house. Or maybe the old gaffer's place or whatever. I have no idea, like, how these things actually get spawned in. So, we'll just put everything down. It's fine. Any new stuff here, old man? Oh, anti-curse amulet. There was at least one new thing. Or, again, I, I missed it. That's... I didn't mean to go outside. <laughs> it's always possible that I just, yeah, missed it too, I guess. So the anti-curse amulet, does that just remove a curse? Or is that, like, something we can actually wear? What is this? Defense power. Uh, item. Text from enemy's curse will rip after extensive use. So does it work by just having it in our inventory? Two active item? Huh. 
Yeah, I don't really get how that works, but okay. How goes it? How are you doing with the cave? Old Gaffer shop is open. Purchase your items from there. You can't rely on me forever. <gasps> There's another room back here? Spiky bugs coming out? We just get, like, more fishing stuff? Yeah. Is there a fishing rod back here by any chance? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, like, my throat's just kind of dry. A little, little scratchy's not the right term for it. It's a little, uh, tickly. <laughs> yeah, sure. Tickly's the right word for it. <laughs> God. Hmm. Ah. There we go. Uggy. Uh, I guess we're just back down into the dungeons then, man. There's nothing else to do here. Stop at the old gaffer shop and see if he got anything for us, but I don't think so. I don't know how he updates his inventory either, though. I guess it could be the same as how I'm assuming the mayor works. It just entirely depends, like, how many assets you have down or how many, how many people, whatever. Ooh, is this another boss level? Already? There's nothing in it. Although the last level may not have counted as like an actual boss level, the level eight. Might have been like a special encounter thingy since dude. I don't know. Limit, oh, it's a limited zone. Due to a mysterious force, only Zhao can be used, I think is what it was saying. Zhao is not ready for this game. I was not ready for this at all. Hello, sir. How are you? Next time I go and get lost in the woods, you want to come along? Warning, some of the trails suck. <laughs> but you're welcome to come and get lost with me one of these days. Wait, what? You can change characters? Yeah, after you unlock them. The trick is, you know, you have to unlock them first. There's a big dude. Hello, big dude. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess it could happen. When I got lost in the woods today, there was a uh, couple, like, up ahead of me. Um, but they, like, left as I started to get closer. I'm not saying they were banging. I'm saying they might have been banging. I have no, I don't know. A little cold for that? It wasn't like earlier though, right? Like earlier, it is actually pretty nice. That was like 50 some degrees. Is this dude actually moving or is he just stuck in place? Nah, he's slowly getting getting closer. Yeah, this this girl, by the way, dude, this this character, she was literally a cat. A stray cat that I took in and gave a home. Became obsessed with us, and then I gave her a magic potion that turned her into a girl. Um, yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, the trails that I was on, though, dude. Um, the longest trail in that entire, like, park area is a little over, like, two and a half-ish miles. Right? I walked about six. Because, <laughs> like, just kept taking random turns on different trail uh, intersections, whatever. So, like, yeah. I didn't literally get lost, but basically. Okay, so we're not gonna fight that Master Jacket. That dude's a dick. You did that once? It was a ton of fun, man. Like I said, it was really, really good. Um, I have all trails on my phone. Highly suggest it for people that hike or, or an app like it. It has, like, maps of a lot of freaking trails uh, in America. Um, and yeah, so like once I realized like how late it was, I was like, okay, I'm just going to load up the, the app here, look at the freaking map and like figure out how the hell to get out of here. They were like good trails. So as long as we just kept kind of following them, like picked one and just followed it, we would have got somewhere eventually as long as it didn't go around in nothing but a circle. But I don't think there's any like that that just go around in a circle without, you know, meeting up with a parking lot or something. 
And of course, worst comes to worst, there's always the option of just pick a direction and head straight in that, that direction. Because where we live, there's no like, unlimited section of, of what whatever you want to call it, of uh, forest. You're going to come across a road or something eventually. You're busting your ass trying to get home because it's like five or six years ago when we had an eclipse and I wanted to get out of the damn woods so I could see it. <laughs> nice, man. You picked a good time to go is what it sounds like. Oh, we're like out of food, aren't we? I mean, we have all this food, but not allowed to use it. Um. Okay, well, we need repair powder. Being forced to use Zhao kind of sucks. And then I guess water because I don't see any water on the map. I guess the curse makes sense, like, why there were no Atla in here. Because if there were Atla in here, we wouldn't even be able to use them. Because she literally can't open them anyways. Can we get her another weapon? Please, game. I really hope that Master Jacket isn't the key holder. Imagine he's the fucking key holder, dude. The one dude that, like, I can't even figure out how to fight. Because he just blocks every shot. I guess we'd have to, like, try to aim it. Or use items. I guess we could use items to, to try and murder him, too. I didn't think about that. We don't have very many, but we do have a couple bombs left, at least. A minin? Guessing that's another type of fishing bait. The bone key, okay, so that'll let us through into the other section of the, the dungeon. Honestly, since there's no Atla down here, I'm really just kind of hoping to get the the big key, the Durin key, and be able to just leave. I don't feel the need to explore this entire dungeon with her because... I don't want to say she sucks. Her weapon sucks, right? What we have available to us is garbage. Oh, good. You're a range user, too. You're a literal dragon, and I'm going to shoot you. Oh, my God. And we do one damage at a time. Um. I wonder, can we aim if we go into, like, first person camera mode? As soon as we move, we leave first person, but... Uh, how do we go into first person? Yeah, we can aim. So I guess that might be an option. Anyways, hold on. I'm gonna try the stamina drink on her and see if that helps us go faster at all. Um, We're good on water right now. I was tempted to just like grab a bomb. Oh God. Hey, awesome. Yeah, okay, we're doing three damage now. Much better, actually. Oh, or not. Okay, we sometimes do three damage. We sometimes do one. It builds up a lot quicker, the power meter down there. Speed meter, I guess. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to matter if we, we charge or don't charge. Yeah, I hear you, game. I mean, it's not leveled up literally at all. I guess we could just let it break. Uh, but you still have to use repair powder to fix it, I think. Come on, let me go into the menu. Oh my god, game, please. I need, I need to use repair powder. There we go. Uh, is it my last one? It is. This dungeon sucks for us. <laughs> this is so bad. Do we have any... Um, do we have any boosters that we could equip to her? No, literally nothing. Absolute garbage, okay. Please tell me they don't regen health. Bro, they just wanna like do their very slow shuffle against each other. No, don't get hit. Oh, that was almost bad. Oh, 
Is he is he dead? He's dead. Okay. Now it's your turn still. I'm not sure we have enough stamina left to or like weapon durability left to kill him though. Do you have like a weak point I could exploit or something? Oh my god, I feel like this isn't even gonna be the one that has the thing in it, dude. Screw it. We had to. We had to use the bomb, man. We had no choice. Code Zero, what's up? That one low key kind of cute. <laughs> Why he's so chubby? <laughs> Just a chubby ass dragon, man. <laughs> he's a chibi dragon. We still haven't gotten the key to leave either, annoyingly, which means we probably are gonna have to go into the behind the death door, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to run back over and fight the one dude we didn't kill, though. I mean, I say fight. Really, what I mean is throw a bomb at him because that's the only way we seem to be able to damage him. And annoyingly, I just sold off, like, all of the items that we can use to deal damage to people, like, just from our inventory. Cause with the other dude, like we just use our weapons, you know? We don't we don't really need to use the items. We can just attack things, but she does so little damage. Okay, granted though, those bombs are really freaking good. There's the crest! We can avoid it. Uh I might still run through and grab the chest though. I mean, depending what kind of enemies. If they're just like bats or something, I'll go ahead and kill them. Because they can still drop gold but I think they can probably drop other items too, maybe. Anyways, uh, we'll probably kill them if they're just something super simple like that, but if it's another dragon or something, I don't think it's worth the, uh, the bomb. Yeah, oh God, hi. What are you? Can't turn the camera for some reason? Oh, you're a dasher. Mm. They're not hard to kill, but again, honestly, I just don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run past it. I just want to get whatever's in the chest and and get the hell out of here. So we can go back to using like our regular dude, our dude that can actually fight. Wind acquired. I mean, that's something we could put on her, I guess. But it's just the wind attribute. What does hers have now? Customize. Wait, uh, R1. I mean, it does have literally nothing right now. Giving it some sort of attribute would be nice. So it gets a little bit of bonus damage from that. Alright, we're gonna GG now. Get the hell out of here. Goodbye, dragons. Um... Do you like actually hit attack or can you like get out of the doorway, please? Many thanks. Oh no! Bro, we don't have any heals, so <laughs> just let me out, please. <laughs> Didn't expect getting through that door to be the hardest part. Right. Hopefully we don't have another dungeon floor like that anytime soon. Uh, I mean, we didn't pick anything up. I was literally in the middle of saying we didn't pick anything up, so we might as well just stay in the dungeon a bit longer. Go down to the next level so we can actually get some stuff for the world here, but whatever. I guess we'll go and talk to the old gaffer and odd gaffer. Sorry, it's rude. I keep calling him old. I don't mean to. My apologies, dude. You're not that old. <laughs> I think. Uh, we need to buy some like water and things, though, is what I was saying. Actually, before we do that, I know the mayor yelled at me and told me that he can't, like, I can't depend on him forever. But will he still give me the basics that he's been giving me if I talk to him first? Because that's, like, a free thing of water and some free repair powder. If we can repair all of our weapons for free, then, I mean, we're definitely going to do that. Okay. Uh, we talked to you a couple of times. Did you give us... You didn't give us water or repair powder, so are you literally just done? Yeah, I think he's just done helping us out now. That sucks. 
would be funny if odd was a typo and it's supposed to be old he looks old <laughs> and to me i don't know why to me just like old gaffer sounds better rolls off the tongue better than odd gaffer it very well could be that or just like a poor translation or something i'm probably gonna keep calling him old gaffer not on purpose but like yeah okay so we need we need like everything we need food uh, at least like three of those, like three drinks at least, and then however much repair powder we can buy. Do we have anything we can sell? I'm, we don't need this fishing stuff <laughs> because like I can't even fish right now, but I'm still hoping that I can fish at some point. I mean, obviously we can at some point, but some point soon, I guess, is what I mean to be saying. Like, well, we do only have one antidote too, which kind of sucks, but it'll be okay. Um, I don't know how to use this yet either. Oh, it does go there, or it can go there. So maybe like if we just have it there and then have it highlighted or maybe it's an actual like usable thing oh maybe it says like we'll rip after extensive use though does that mean it's just one time use or does that mean like we can unequip it when we don't want to use it I don't know I have no idea Thirst has reached its limit as soon as we got down here. Perfect. Okay. Um, take a drink, I guess. I don't know when we'll find a a spring. How's our weapon doing? 37 out of 62. Are the ones brand new? Okay. What's with the weird shadow over there? Why is there a weird shadow like like something's floating in front of us or beside us or whatever? That's really odd I don't know how to dodge that And blocking seems to do nothing like we still take full damage every time I try to block so Hey, we finally got a new house to put down that's sick uh, I don't think we have the person for it yet, but... Chest? Bread. Bread's always nice. Uh, that looks like it keeps going. I'm gonna keep following the left wall first. I mean, we have the map, so I guess we don't really need it. Need it? Hey, look at that! There's a spring. Who else is over here on another master jacket? Gold? Many think. Uh, we should do the Zhao as well. Get her a full heal and drink. Since we're in here. I don't really plan on using her anytime soon, but in case we have to. Ice. Do we need ice at all? We do for that upgrade, but I'd probably be going for this one. It seems more reasonable. So I'll put it on there. Customize. Oh shoot, I didn't realize I was ready for an upgrade. Um, How close are you, 61 to 69? Okay, we'll wait. Yeah. We'll give it to the knife. The chances of us actually being able to build it up before it hits its level limit, level up limit, seems to be basically zero, but still. Honestly, I think with these rock rough dudes or whatever they're called, rock enough, I think our best bet is just to like zoom in close as quickly as we can. Rock enough. Oh, and then just like, oh my God. It's stuck on the wall? Yes. <laughs> 
get wrecked. And then, like, hit them before they have a chance to... ...to go into the roll, to start hitting us. Oh my god. <laughs> GG me. Uh, yes. We will do the upgrade now. We have things on it. Confirm. Is that enough witch slaying ability? Build up this one. It is not. Yeah, there's no way. We're going to get it to the point we can actually upgrade it before... Before we have to just break it down. That's too bad. I'm really excited just to, like to build one up. I want to know... I just want to know what that's like. What happens when we build one up? There's the exit to the dungeon. Turd across the gap. And then instantly get rid of her because we have things to open. We might stop back over at the, the spring before we do too much in here. Or, like, explore the rest of this area. Transhorn. Are we gonna end up building, like... A statue of Dran or something like that? To worship? Ah! Um, oh god, there's people everywhere. I don't have any, like, food items pre-equipped. Uh, switch. Nope, jump across. Item. Oob. Not a full heal, but it'll get the job done. I mean, we could have ran all the way back over there and saved ourselves the, the money for it, but... Son of a bitch. But, like, it's not that big of a deal. Do they... How much damage do you take when I shoot you? Literally one. Such garbage, dude. I wish her weapon was a little bit better. She's the only ranged user we have right now. Yeah, I know it's about to break game. Hush. Okay. If I shoot even one more time, there's a chance that it just breaks. And still, the only way I know to repair it is by using the actual repair powder. How much more damage do you need? You almost dead, at least? Oh, for some reason I can't see your thing. I wish you would, like, hurt the dude whenever you hit the dude, the Master Jacket. That'd be pretty sick. Oh shit, you're not dead. You definitely just drop something. Bro, you gotta stop spinning eventually, right? And nothing. <laughs> so glad we wasted time killing that dude. It still feels good to clear a level, though. We do have the thing. We could just leave. But we're probably missing some of the Atla. And that's actually important. Killing everything, not so much. But collecting all the Atla, yeah, we can't rebuild the world without those. i we haven't found the magic stone that gives us, like, the compass from Zelda, basically, that shows us where everything is. i we haven't found that or the map yet. Oh, there's another spring over here. That's nice. Our inventory's gotta be getting full by now. Eh, 31 out of 50. We can still hold 19 more things. We're alright. <laughs> Stairway. Cool. We actually have a key for once. We don't have to guess. I was saying. Never mind though. It's a mimic.
that mimic wasn't shit. Thought that was gonna be much worse than that. The regular mimics are more annoying than that. Now, holy water, is that an equipable that gives us like holy, no, okay, it's an item. I didn't know if it gave us like the holy attribute on weapons. Or if it was just a usable item. It's a usable, though. Consumable, maybe? Consumable seems right. Hey, we finally got Paige. Nice. Maybe we can finish her house now. That'll give us another event, which should give us a couple more items. And I'm still kind of holding out hope that by completing events, we'll get more items in the shop. I just want to be able to fish, man. That's like my main goal in the game is just to be able to fish. It'll help me clear out my inventory. And I just like fishing in video games. Oh, dick. We still have one more Atla that we missed. Chugabo, hello, sir. Welcome. We can finish another windmill. I don't really understand the point of finishing the windmills, though. Maybe when all... So far we found three. Maybe when all three of them are finished, an event will happen. But so far, like, just finishing the one and placing down the other two doesn't seem to have triggered anything special. Uh, we should, like, just have this highlighted. Just in case it works that way. Like, if it's highlighted, we don't get... ...cursed. You're a dick. Oh my god, dude. Like, right at the end of my freaking... ...whatchamacallit, too. My, my iframes. I hate bats. I hate bats. Don't get poisoned. What was that? Another mage masher? Yeah, mage slayer, whatever. We do need another one. Technically on the Chris knife. To get it to the point where we can uh, build up, but still not holding high hopes for that. I don't think it's going to happen, man. Oh, hey, dope. We got the, the hag and her house. Um, Food's cheap. Do I want to detour? I think I'll detour to the spring again. Refill our food gauge and our water gauge, for that matter. Before we leave. Although I guess, like, if we were on a floor that we weren't actually trying to clear and get down to the next one, <clears throat> we could just, you know, go to random dungeons until we find one close, and then just teleport out using escape powder. We don't really use that stuff all that often. Although, like, if we only have the one like we do now, I guess it would really suck to use it and then actually need it and <laughs> not have any left. So probably for the best that we don't do that. Not when a simple detour will get us, you know, there. Right, so we can finish Paige's house, hopefully. Nate, what's up, man? Welcome. Happy to see you make it, man. With your new work schedule, we don't see you all that often. Wait, are there literally only two more things for us to find, or does it always only show like two things? Okay, Annette's house. Oh. Oh, the houses are always this big. Okay, yeah, so it won't fit there. Um. Yes, that seems okay. And then. So what, it would go here? You never made it this far in Dark Cloud 1? Fair. Neither have I. <laughs> sure, Hag can go there. Did we get any more road or anything? 
No. Okay. Got more bridges. Uh, okay, what do you people need? You need Paige. So now if we go talk to Paige and figure out what else they need, then we can finish her house real quick. Is she going to be here in her house? Uh, there's another box in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about fishing, I just don't know how to fish. You like fishing, don't you? Yeah, I do like fishing, but... Tell me how to rebuild your house. Make the wheel for the buggy. I'm pretty sure he already told us that, though. We probably have to talk to Paige. There she is! Paige! Stream, oh, you're alive! I was worried thinking something happened to you because of me, but thank goodness you're okay. Uh, tell me how to rebuild your house. Don't forget a lamp! It's scary at night without a light. I have a lamp, no problem. Uh, I'll give you a little hint. Something useful for Stream's adventure. Stream, that pouch, isn't it too small? Is she gonna give us more room? Wait, is that... Is that when the village is done, though? Or when... Or when your house is done? I don't know. Fish all the things? I want to. I really, really want to, but... I can't fish at all right now. It's very... <laughs> it's really quite annoying, actually. Uh, we might as well put the hag in her house. And then... I'm assuming Carl goes... Yes. Wait, Annette's baby brother? Please tell me you're not literally a baby, because, like... <laughs> bro, it'd really suck if we put a literal baby here. Without, like, a mother or anybody to take care of them. We need more fencing to finish your house. Eh, whatever. Windmill 2. Complete. Uh, hag. I don't know what goes here yet. Well, we definitely can't finish... We can't finish either one of those houses, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go... Actually, back here, because event now. Carl goes to the Carleton? Are you gonna build the Carleton? Car Carleton? What's it... How's it... What's it actually called? I don't know. Stream! That's me. Hello, Paige. Good to see you. I've made a new pouch. It's for you. Yeah, I think she just gave us more bag space. There, done. Looks like it can carry a lot of items. Let's go an extra ten. Wish you luck. Go for it. Many thank. Uh, do you have any more, like, junk laying around your house that I can steal now that I've finished your house for you? Yes. Undead Buster? the hell is an undead buster? Is it an equipable? An attachment? Yeah. Monsters, zombies, and mummies. Um... Do you need that to be able to build up? No, you don't need any undead. For that. Um... I mean, you might on this one... You don't on either one. I guess I'll just give it to my dagger then. I'm really hoping the dagger never like has a level limit. Question of the day. If video game worlds started merging, which two genres would create the most chaotic and hilarious mashup? Um, Tetris? <laughs> But, like, things are always falling from the sky, you know? And building, building, you gotta build lines out of them for them to end. And, uh, I don't know, what other, what other genre? Just Tetris in real life would be Tetris Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Tetris in basically anything, man. But, yeah, Tetris for sure, I think, has to be in that list. Tetris and, um... I don't know, there's gotta be another, like, video game world that's just crazy all the time. One. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> there's just every world is just being covered in blocks. 
yeah, I'm, it's, fuck it. I'm going with that, I guess. I'm sure there's a better one, but Tetris and Kingdom Hearts, man. Worlds are disappearing, but the new, world, new ones are being built out of these magical blocks falling out of the sky constantly. Hey, stream, bro. You're in one piece. I thought you were dead. How would you like me to rebuild your house? I'd like my storage cabin with my treasures inside back again. Uh, what will happen when it's done? Ask my sister. Um, uh, well, here's the thing. I don't know where your sister is. The gummy menu agrees? Yeah, I didn't even think about the gummy menu. That's basically... <laughs> that's how you collect, uh, new gummy pieces. You make lines. Then when they disappear, gummy pieces left behind. A Mimi? What's a Mimi? And a gourd. Oh, I th gourds increase our water. Wiggle waggle creepy fishing bait. Um, I mean, we could give that to her so she's less annoying, but screw her. Giving that to me. I wonder if there's a limit. It looks like that might be the limit of how many, like, gourds we can eat. Fallout and Mario Party, just fucking mini games in the post apocalypse. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's really weird today. I don't know why. <laughs> Gummies are just, yes, man. <laughs> Travelers from destroyed Tetris World. Bullet hell and physically based building games where you can build your own ships and vehicles. That would be fun as hell. It would definitely be chaotic, though, for sure. But yeah, dude. Build your own ships and vehicle and then just bullet hell everywhere. That sounds like a fun time. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. My throat is not agreeing with me today. Oh, I haven't even been like talking that much or anything. I don't I don't know. It's fine. Uh ba -ba -ba. might as well go ahead and use the repair powder while we're in the menu here. Hydrate? Okay, I mean I only Chocobo have a tiny bit left in here anyways. Might as well finish, right? Hydrate. Uh. Oh. Holy shit, dude. With the time, Chocobo 25? Enthusiast just redeemed vote on a game X25. RE4. I feel like that's going to end up being the next one that we play. Obviously, I have no way of actually knowing that, but it does have a bunch of votes. Oh, another chest. Fruit of Eden. Um, That did something for us. Oh, it increased our health. Right? Yeah. Give that to me, too. Again, screw the girl. I don't... <laughs> I'm assuming we can level her up in the same way, but she's fine. Um, I'm going to be playing as us as much as possible. I do wonder what her favorite food is. So that's how you increase defense. Oh my god, she only has one? Yeah, she sucks. <laughs> Mass Effect and Jack 2. I can't with the Jack 2, man. <laughs> it's a good mashup. It's just anytime I think of Jack 2, I'm like, hmm. Seems like there was so much missed potential there. I'm just imagining like driving around on desolate planets. But as Jack, <laughs> like, that's half of what I remember from Jack 1 is just, you know, or Jack 1 from Mass Effect 1 is just all of the nothingness on so many of the planets. Oh, no, for the mashup, they have a lot of votes. Okay. Okay. I still don't think it'd be a bad mashup, though, because you could have, like, the different... You could have, like, Jack exist on one of the planets. That'd be fun. Not necessarily chaotic, but... Ah, that's sick. I know Jack, what, Jack 1 has a PC port that was already out? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did know about that one, but I didn't know that 2 had one out now. I'll consider whenever we do get on it, because it is on the list of games to beat. I still plan on beating Jack 2 at some point, even though it's not, not my favorite. Um, I'll consider doing it the PC port instead of the, the PS2 version. Oh wait, there's a chest here. Is it a fishing rod? It's fish candy. Huh, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I just want a freaking fishing rod, man. Oh, that's Zhao's favorite food, though. Cool. Yeah, eat that. 
Oh, one food took you all the way up to eight. Okay. So I guess you're not that far behind because we've only found like one of our favorite food. I guess that makes sense. She was literally a cat not that long ago. How does this... Oh, it's like looping through categories, I guess. Okay, uh, that's fine. I was really hoping though... Fish. Seems like you can fish here, but you don't have a fishing pole. I know, I need, I need a freaking fishing pole, man. Is that candy for fish or candy of fish? I'm guessing candy of fish since she is a cat girl, like in the literal sense and not in the other sense. <laughs> Not, com not officially considered complete, but fully playable. They consider bug fixes and smaller stuff to be a factor in the completeness of the port. Noise. I'm just happy that, you know, it's fully playable. I think all of the, uh... Oh my god, so much stuff. All of the, the fan PC ports of games that have been coming out recently, you know, we had the Super Mario 64 one. I think, doesn't... Is it uh, Ocarina of Time that has one? I'm pretty sure they're working on at least one of the... N64 Zelda games. Jack, of course. Um, shoot, I'm pretty sure there was another one I was saw a video or reading about or something. Oh, it's you, Stream. You startled me. Uh, how should I rebuild your house? Keep your belongings. You don't want to carry with you? Wait, I can't store shit in my house. But I can store shit at this old lady's house? Bruh. How does that make any sense at all? That's... <laughs> So freaking weird. All right, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, config. We should have some of the stuff you people need. You need a jar and a bench. Well, I have a bench. Um, I don't have a jar. Something added to and then used? Yeah, I'm assuming that's a jar of some sort. And then you need stairs. I can go ahead and give you your stairs. And then I guess whichever one gets closer to finishing first, I'll give the cabin to. I'm just going to leave it there for now, but. So jar and fence for you. Okay. Almost there. Maybe the next level will get us there. Uh, we haven't saved in a while. Let's save real quick. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no, I uh, I have the game, so it's easy enough to get. You know, is right there. <laughs> it pulls the stuff it needs from the eye. So yeah, that's how it worked for uh, Jack One as well. Whenever I was reading about it. You provided your own ISO of the game, and then it pulled the assets from there to keep it all legal and everything. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, me too. I actually do, though. It's in my, like, storage stuff back there behind the screen and everything. But, yeah. I was talking to Noodle a little bit today. We haven't worked out all of the uh, details yet. But I am soon-ish going to start working on actually getting, like, a room together for... Like my gaming area and that'll also be my streaming area so all of this will be changing soon um i may or may not keep the blue screen behind me though i i probably will i don't know it depends because i hate the the wallpaper that's in there and i don't own this house i just live here so i can't really like change the wallpaper so we'll see <laughs> maybe i'll just get like a blue sheet that's the same color or close to it and just hang it behind the couch. I don't know, man. I wonder how well like NVIDIA broadcast does with like walls behind you. Like if it's just a blank wall behind me, I wonder how well it would cut it out. Cause then I wouldn't mind like just using that. Is it gonna be the room that was yours slash the cats? Uh, we haven't decided, right? Cause that's one of the things that we need. One of the details that we need to work out is whether I'm going to take that room or if we're going to move everything out of our storage area 
and then I'm gonna go back to that room because that was originally my gaming room, the storeroom. Um, but then we needed somewhere to store things and Noodle wanted me to move in here, so yeah. But like she obviously still needs somewhere for all of her stuff. But if I moved everything out of the bedroom, there might actually be enough room in the bedroom for her. So that's what we're we're trying to decide now is if we want to just have her move into the bedroom here for her stuff. Or if she still gets like her own own room. Um, because if we both get our own room, then I'm going to have to like clean out the basement, which normally I try to stay out of. So I'd rather not do, but we can just lay down some stuff in there and then like take all of our junk down there for storage, which makes more sense for like a normal people's house. Um, and then she would have the room, the, or I'm getting confused. Anyways, you get the point. There's a couple of different things we need to decide on, but we're getting there. Found someone modding the PS2 version of RE4 recently. That's pretty sick. What kind of like, are we talking like whole level editing and stuff like that? Or just like basic, like, you know. I don't know, editing existing weapons sort of thing. Like how how big of edits are we talking here with the mods? God, it's so much easier to deal with these dragons when we're using like an actual decent character. You didn't even know I had a basement? Yeah, I have a basement. I, it's a reasonably sized basement. It just sucks because, um, one, if it rains really, really bad, it floods a little bit. There is a sump pump down there to help remove the, like, any moisture that gets down there. But the sump pump itself, like, shuts itself off. So I have to constantly go down there and turn it on. Or, again, it'll start to flood. Like, it just sucks. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were some groundhogs, not gophers, that uh, seem to be making a home down there. Um, but I bought some concrete last year and... and dealt with that so no more of them down there at least not that i know of okay i really didn't want to use the bombs but these things suck sea killer wait what is that oh okay we have a bunch of stuff i still don't know what the mp's for like, we haven't gotten any sort of magic yet, so I don't really know what the point of MP is. Anyway, so the point was, shouldn't be any more groundhogs or anything in the basement. Um, there is, like, it's half finished. One half of the basement was finished at one point. Um, but then from, like, the slow flooding and whatnot down there, it not flooding, but, you know, the moisture getting in, the wood's kind of old and gross and... It's just not a good basement. When I first moved in here, I did ask for permission to, like, put up some faux walls and stuff. Not to, like, truly finish it, but at least to get it into a state that it'd be reasonable. And the landlord said that she was fine with that if I wanted to. But she did warn me about, like, the moisture getting down there and whatnot. And that she didn't know if that was the best idea. And I ended up, uh, I ended up agreeing with her. I don't feel like that was the best idea, so I didn't. And now there's a single tote in my basement, a heater in case like pipes freeze real bad, and the heater for the house and the water heater. And that's that's it. That's the whole the whole basement. Great groundhog word, but I owe this guy. Did, wait, he's sharing the mod as a complete. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous for him. He can get himself in trouble doing that. Sadly get the whole project taken down too which is you know not what you want to have happen um dragon fish i don't remember what you needed for your level up you don't need dragons or fish you need more mp you do need more mp so we can give you the mp one and then you're almost ready to upgrade at that point and then what about our normal dagger? This one's close to being ready and I don't really care what you have. Um, What are you at right now? Could just make you even better against zombies? Sure. That seems fine. 
you're close enough to upgrading. We might as well just wait for you. And then you. Your thing sucks. Um, You just need literally anything that'll make you stronger, honestly. You're also very close to leveling up. Okay, I'm going to level up her weapon. So hopefully she's not as bad. But I'm not sure if attributes go up at all other than durability when you level up. Unless you give them something to, you know. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we actually dodged it. We didn't. Did you get any points for that? No, you probably actually have to kill stuff. Okay, go back to him. Hey, okay, his is full. Weapon. Uh, upgrade. Yes. It's weird because making PS2 SI is easy for the end user. You just, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I know. <laughs> I have uh, backups of all of my games in case anything were to happen to the original discs, as well as, you know, uh, I have open PS2 loader and a network connection. So... I can just load games over the network if I wanted to. Bandit Slingshot. Am I actually able to use that, or did it go straight to her? It went straight to her. Okay. Sometimes you can steal items from monsters with this? That's pretty sick. What do you need for your build-up? Do you need fish? No, you do need the dragon thing, though. Um... This one needs fish. Maybe we'll go for this one. Pack endurance speed. I mean, it's going to be hard, but... Here, take two fishy boys. I'm just happy that she has an actual, like, usable weapon now. 30 attack? That's actually pretty freaking good, man. That's better than our, our best weapon that we have on ourselves. <laughs> like... That's crazy. Okay. So she suddenly doesn't completely suck anymore. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, and then... Okay, I mean, I guess that's it. We still need to get her... I still want to upgrade her dagger at least once, though. Okay, this looks like the shortest path, because I'm assuming this dead ends into the next room. GameCube game you've modded, and you actually made your own thing that modifies your vanilla SO? That's pretty sick. Is there not, like, a, a good patcher or anything for for GameCube games, I'm guessing? Holy gem? Nice. I know to back up my GameCube games that I own, I have to use either my, my Wii or my GameCube itself, but I, uh... Yeah, I've never actually, like, tried to modify... A GameCube game, though. I have done a little bit of PS2 game modding, but, like, not myself. Just with, like, pre-made tools. Uh, for, like, Rock Band and Guitar Hero back in the day. Me and my cousin, those were some of my our favorite games of ours. Uh, it's what we would, like, play together all the time. And, uh... Yeah. We had modded our PS2 at one point. And we found out that, hey, that's a thing you can do. Like, you can add new music tracks and whatnot to to Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Uh, repair. So we did the hell out of that back in the day. Oh, that was a waste of wonder ability. Whatever. Developer of the Wind Waker randomizer made something that could be considered a generalized GameCube ISO patcher, though it still leans towards Wind Waker. I mean, that makes sense. It would be nice if there was just, like, a generic one, or or if it was possible to use an existing tool for whatever console there, but... Okay, yeah, it got an extra one attack from the level up. That's kind of garbage. Uh, yeah, equip this. I don't think we're going to be using your slingshot plus one unless we absolutely have to. It's just weird because, like, on, on the main character here, you know, the attack isn't that much different. Or there's not that much difference. Now, granted, it has been leveled up twice, but this has been leveled up four times. So, like, still, though, that just goes to show how much better her 
thingy is, her bandit slingshot, because it's already at attack 30, whereas our level 4 thing and level 2 thing here aren't even that high. Actually makes her super usable. And since it's range, man, we don't have to, like, get right up on people because we have range. Like, I actually kind of like her now. <laughs> That was one of the things I kept saying before is that, man, I really wish we had a ranged weapon of some sort to deal with, like, these bats and shit. And, uh, it's not quite what I was hoping for, but it does the same job. <laughs> so I can't complain. Key. Guess it would be nice if it had a little bit more durability. Oh, dude, let's go. Went from doing between one and three damage to doing like 16 instantly. Amazing. Now we still have to switch back to the other dude anytime we want to open these things though. Which makes using her still a little bit annoying, but now say we land on another one of those floors that's cursed and we have to use her all the time. We can't use the main dude. It's not going to be a giant chore to get through. Does kind of make me wish I would have given her some of the the water upgrade now, but meh, she'll be fine. Rotten fish? What the hell's rotten fish for? Is it... Ah, oh, there it is. After being left out for a long time. What do we use that for, though? Do we sell it? Like, why would we want rotten fish? I thought maybe we could use it as fish food? Or, like, a fish bait? But, hey, there's Alnet. That's nice. Maybe we can complete their house. Ah! Can we actually kill a dragon now? We can. It really does seem pointless to, like, charge her weapon. And I, like... Trying to hit that dude up there, but I can't see him. Oh no, we were way off. Can we actually hit you now? No. How do we... Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're meant to deal with him without, like, trying to sneak up behind. I guess, like, if we're super close, yeah. Then he doesn't have time to block. I guess that's how we deal with him without just using items. Speaking of, are there any items that we want to, like, put in our inventory? Our, like, quick inventory? We could just stack something get it out of our main inventory here, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, Sacred Gem. Yeah, that's a usable item. Put that there. Sure. Alright. You know what we still found surprisingly few of that annoys me? The, like, trolley oil and shit that we need to go into the, the B-sides of all the dungeons. The extra sections of dungeons. There's, like, stronger enemies and better pickups from chests, supposedly, in those areas, but we've only gotten one so far, and we're in, what, level level 12, I think we just did, of the dungeon? So there's a lot of B-sides that we never got to explore, and that kind of sucks. But I'm assuming all of the, the loot is randomized, so... If we need to, we can always redo floors to try to do it, but... Honestly, I feel like we're doing okay. We're not struggling to stay alive or anything right now. Now that we have the two characters, we're not really struggling for the whole uh, item durability thing or anything like that either. I think I think it's all right. Okay, um, cute girl who adores me. Do you go here? No. You go here somewhere though, right? Yeah. So wait, did we get did we get another house? 
No. Okay. Huh. Guess we must find your house later. That's fine. Uh, I was really hoping that was the two people we needed so we could actually finish Alnet's house. And we didn't find a pot for you either? Nope. Marker placed in front of buildings. Hey, that's sick, dude. No, you didn't tell me. I know you mentioned that like you were that you've speed ran the game before and whatnot, but I don't remember you ever saying that you actually got the world record. That's amazing. I still need to check out the game myself. I haven't yet. I remember you talking about it, but I haven't actually like played it or anything yet. Uh, sure. The river can just wrap around because what else am I gonna do? You got it a few days ago. That's really cool, dude. That's like, that is something I would love to do eventually, is to get a world record in a game. Just for, just for the fun of it. Uh, if we're gonna have road come down there, we might as well put one over there. And then, I don't know. I guess we don't have to place everything, but... Beat your old PB by over a minute in the previous world record by 35 seconds. That's amazing, man. I didn't even realize that, like, your old PB was that close to the world record. Because, like, 35 seconds, depending on the game, you know, that's not necessarily a ton. <laughs> your new time is an hour, one minute, 59 seconds. Just barely. Ah, oh, so you're the first, like, one hour, one minute, too. That's sick. It's always really cool to beat, like, a, a whole minute mark. On longer speed runs like that? Do you think the uh, speed run will get under an hour? Somebody will eventually get 59 minutes? I don't know like how optimized the run is, how much of it comes down to luck and things like that, so... It's all of that, of course, changes uh, <laughs> the potential, the long-term potential for something like that. Potentially? You know, you can save over a minute still? Okay, yeah, so you're already, like, pretty close. I would be willing to bet it's possible to save another 59 seconds. If you know you can already save a minute. Or over a minute. Hi, Carl. Uh, you're not who I want. Plant Buster, that's probably another equipable thingy. Dino Slayer's definitely another equipable thingy. Where's your sister, Carl? Doesn't look like you can climb up. Then why is it showing up? That Maybe that has something to do with the event. Oh! Miracle treasure chests appear after you return from the cave. They appear after you access new floors. Okay. That's why these like random chests keep popping up. So technically, every time we access a new floor, if we run around, we should find new stuff just randomly all over the place. Okay. That makes sense. I'm glad somebody told me that. <laughs> I thought it had to do with placing stuff down and events and things. But no. Is your little sister down here somewhere? More repair powder, that's always nice. No. Or er, not little sister, it was actually like his mom or something, wasn't it? Alnet? Is she hanging out around here somewhere? Still want to know, like, can we leave this town at some point? Like, there's a gate out of town, which I understand would have to exist for for the town to work. But, like, it's a game. It doesn't really matter. So I'm curious if we can do something with it. Oh, it's you, Stream. Were you okay? I was locked inside some weird thing, but I don't really remember much. Anyway, good to know we're both safe. You're not worried about, like, your other kid, though? I'd like a lamp at the front door. It gets dark and scary at night. I can I can do that for you. What will you do once your house is done? Once I helped Uncle Pike moving to his new house and he gave me this, but I don't really use it. I can't throw it in the garbage, so I'll give it to you. How's that? Is it a fishing pole? I think it's a fishing pole. So she's like number one priority now, man. Too bad I don't have your freaking Oh, it's your dog. Or legged and shaggy. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a dog, actually, not a not a kid. Still, you're not worried about your dog, though? That's kind of weird, dude. 
feels like we missed a house or something with how many things we have here, but we definitely haven't missed anything. We've gotten everything that we've come across. I'm going to guess there's more than two buildings left, and then maybe it just like always shows two empty slots. Hmm. We don't have that much money. Anything we need. We have plenty of repair powder, plenty of food, plenty of water. How much were you? One. No. I don't really understand what the rotten fish is for. I don't think we need to really buy anything, even though by not buying anything, we're risking our gold every time we go down into the dungeon. <clears throat> Hopefully the next level of the dungeon, though, we'll be able to finish her house and maybe get that fishing rod. The next stream will just be a fishing stream at. <laughs> just do nothing but fish. No, nah, I'm pretty sure you have to use bait every time you fish, so only be able to do it so much unless the old gaffer sells some fishing bait i guess then you know you lost at least 30 to 40 seconds some obvious mistakes and you definitely lost time to other small things pretty much guarantee you can save a minute the question is if i can save two minutes i'm like i mean again i've never actually watched the speed run or anything but i feel like there's a pretty good chance it's possible especially in like a game that's you know over an hour plus i mean let's be honest anytime somebody tries to say that like a game is at its max people figure out ways eventually to optimize even more every game man obviously at some point a game does have to actually hit its limit but like that's pretty pretty rare i'm so glad i can kill these things from a distance now oh why did those not hit you though why are none of these hitting you Oh, God damn it. You're such a dick. Whatever, we can heal right here. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. Poisonous apple. Throw down an enemy for a poisonous attack. Okay. Guess that works. Uh, switch. Not. You're not really much of a speedrunner. You're good at it from a technical routing standard, but from an execution standard, you're not exactly the fastest. I get that. <laughs> I'm not amazing either. I do want to get better at a game at some point. Um, Mario would be like my instant go-to, but those routes are already like so well optimized. I don't know if I want to spend the time to try and be like world record level at Mario. As amazing as that would be, it's just like those runners are so good and have been playing for so long. The routes are so well optimized that it just seems kind of daunting, I guess would be the best word for it. To even consider trying to, you know? Um. Oh, you're ready for an upgrade. Oh, you're not there yet, though. What about you? Customize. You're ready, but also not there yet. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we can just ignore all of that for right now. I am going to switch back to her, though. And she's actually my preferred fighter right now, annoyingly. It's only been you and two others, and I am alive in the past three years. Yeah. I'm not terribly surprised to hear that. If it's not a big name game, then like communities tend to stay pretty small for for games. Oh, fire gem. That's useful. Okay, repair that. I definitely do not want this to break. This is my favorite weapon in the game right now, man. And strongest. Annoying, but true. Just you and one other within the past year. Yeah. It sucks when decent games don't get, like, the big communities and whatnot, but I'm not terribly surprised to hear it either. 
I guess technically, if I would have submitted it, I would have had a world record in one game at one point. It was, uh... I can't remember the name of it. Garshas, Garshas, the Monster Slayer, I think was what it was called. Um... But, like... <laughs> only because... There was no times posted on, um... Speedrun... Spe is it speedrun.com? It's been so long since I've even, like put any scores up for anything. Times up, not scores for anything. Then I'm blanking. I think it's speedrun.com, right? Anyways, point is, whatever the, the big site is for tracking the times and stuff on that, there was there was no runs for it. Now, with that said, I would have been a re world record from, like, that one site, world record holder, being the only one to ever have run it officially. Uh, but there's very... A very good possibility, of course, that there was, like, forms or something dedicated to it. Because this was a while ago, whenever a lot more things were still split up all over the place. It wasn't as condensed down into, like, one website for everything as much as it is now. Obviously, there are still forms and things for many, many games, but... Urn. Oh! Maybe that could be an urn that the hag needs in her house. Trans windmill. This town really has a thing for windmills, don't they? Windmill blades. That's another windmill done. Sick. Maybe Dran's windmill is where we put all of the pieces of Dran that we've been finding, though. Which would be handy. Personally, right, I am alive as a 7 out of 10, just casually. I'm not sure, like, how your rating scale works, but that sounds pretty decent to me. I'm, like, a out of 5 type of guy, and for me, 3 is literally an average game. I don't do the, like, how a lot of sites and things will do a weighted sort of system, where, like, a 7 out of 10 is an average game. Like, if I was to use a scale of 10, 5 would be average for me. I just, for me, that just makes most sense. Middle of the road should be average. Anything above should be better than average. Below, less good than average, but... Hey, thank you so much for the five bits again, Noodle. I appreciate you. I think I might have heard you starting to clean a little bit back there. She mentioned that she's going to be going through some of the uh, stuff in the storeroom here soon. Ooh, time for an upgrade. Did we... I think we gave you everything, right? Yeah. Upgrade. Yes. 7 out of 10 might be considered a rather high rating for I Am Alive. IGN didn't really give it a good review. Honestly, I feel like I just need to play it for myself eventually and then just see what it's about, you know? Uh, upgrade. Wait, no, 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 no. We were going to go for this one. We still need more fish, and we need some ghosty boys. And then all of the, like, normal stats. Attack, endurance, spe special? Speed, speed. Fishy boys and witches, which is neither one of these. Lee, Lee, hello! I wasn't sure if you were going to come Narrator in today. Just redeemed hydrate. Hold on, I do have a drink here somewhere. I guess we should switch back to the knife and start trying to upgrade his thing a little bit more again. Oh, Where's my drink? Oh, there it is. Can I reach it without putting my leg down? Oh god. I got it! We're fine! It's all good. Ah. Did you get your, uh, your chores done, Lily? You mentioned having to clean a little bit today. Hope you had fun with that. <laughs> you did take a mini nap. I told you to take a mini nap. We're out. You probably need a nap after you got her lost in the woods. It's fine. We weren't lost for long. Lost is a strong word anyways, you know? Like, <laughs> we were on the trails. We only went off trail like once, so it wasn't that bad. Could get the any percent world record if you de-rusted the category. One minute, 58 seconds behind world record in that category. That's amazing, man. 
Honestly, if I was you, that's what I would do. I would go for like the full sweep. I don't know how many different categories there are if it's just the two or... <gasps> I am so upset. I only heard it beep once and then I attacked one more time. And now it's broke. <laughs> I dumped so much shit into that stupid knife. It was level four. And I'm pretty sure you can only upgrade like five times. Oh my God. If I knew for sure that we saved right before coming here, I'd probably just reset. I'd, we've lost three weapons now. I'm wondering if some creatures break the knife faster than others. Cause like normally it costs one or two per swing or per hit on a creature, right? So like, okay. Yeah, it costs five to hit the dragon. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm so upset, bro. <laughs> that sucks. And that was literally the only other weapon we had. The way you like get weapons to be really strong, it's super annoying because once you upgrade all the way to max, you then break it down into its own crystal and apply that to a new weapon. So that's how you get like the weapons to be super strong is to like, you know, break them down, apply them to a new one, break that down, apply it to a new one. And then like you repeat that. So the fact that we've lost three weapons now means that we have lost a significant amount of potential power ups for later in the game. Oh, that is so sad. Um, okay, well, you don't, it doesn't cost you more to shoot, right? Because you're just, you're just paying for the, yeah, you're just paying for the bullets, basically, with yours. I guess that's a, yet another bonus to her and her weapons, is that it always only cost one, well, one or two, I guess. At Mr. Noodle, it definitely wasn't me who saw a cool pathway and veered off that way. It's fine. It was like the path. So the one time we went off trail, the path was like 15 feet away. Like, <laughs> and it actually, it ended up being a pretty decent thing. Cause that was like the trail that most quickly got us back to where, to, to like, you know, where we needed to go. So it ended up being a good thing that we went that way too. Eventually, the other one would have gotten us there, like the trail we were on if we just stuck to it instead of constantly going off in random directions. Eventually, it would have gotten us back to uh, the trailhead or a trailhead of some sort. But if anything, you got us there faster. It's fine. I think the fast way to get 100% would be to do 120%, except you'd only help the 12 fastest victims instead of all 20. That makes sense, okay. Each victim gets 2.5% each, getting all 20 accounts for 50%. Okay. Also decided to go the wrong way and got very, very confused. We did. We did do that too. But that's because we misread the map. <laughs> we thought, we thought like the park where we were trying to get to was one direction and then we realized it was the other direction. So the map we were using wasn't very well defined for what's park and what's not park. We ended up just having to like compare the two maps, compare Google Maps and uh, the trail map that I was using. And that got us, that got us there. It all worked out in the end. We're just a little bit late today, that's all. Story completion is the other 50%, yeah. Now, okay. So what's the other 20%? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. If like 120% is a thing, then what's the other 20%? Where's that come from? Uh, we might as well repair his weapon. We definitely don't want it to break because then we lose the upgrades that we've put on it. I mean, they're just basic upgrades that we've put on it so far, but still. Definitely don't want it to break. All right. 
847. We have enough time to go back, finish up the town. If we're lucky, we'll get the the fishing pole and then we'll just fish until the end of the night. Otherwise, we're probably going to fix up the town and call it because it's basically 9 o'clock anyways. And I promised Noodle I'd get her food and uh, some donuts or something. And I don't want places to close before we, like, leave. Okay. Um, Llama. I don't know it's llama. Okay, so it wasn't a dog. It was a llama that you needed. So that means your house is done. Sick. Now we got Hag's house, which urn. Awesome. And did we get any other houses? We did. Laura's house. Uh, I have no idea where I want to put you. Will you fit here? You will. Oh, wait. Oh, I really wish... Okay, you remove that. Move this here. Because I want to be able to put a road there. Eventually. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I want to, like, put everything. Another windmill complete. Did we get more road? We did. I definitely want the road to come, like, through here. Like that, to connect to that bridge. And then should I have it come, like, this way as well? To connect there? Or that could just be, like, a random bridge in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. Um, This road definitely needs to come up. I guess maybe I will, because we have, like, this road on this side. So having this road here, it's not exact symmetry, but it's close. Symmetry. So I guess maybe we'll put that there. And then... Oh, Drance. Oh, it's a big boy. Okay. Um, Is this centered? To like these two roads? It's not centerable. That's annoying. Well, if we turn it sideways, it is. It's just kind of annoying that it's sideways. Hmm... Which way do I want it to face? Oh wait, does it have a ramp on both sides? It has a ramp on both sides, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I want the windmill blades to be like showing whenever you come into town. So then this road just keeps coming up. And that one just keeps coming up, and that should line right up with both ends of that. Nice. By surviving mean the hardest difficulty- Oh! Wait, actually start with already having those. Two plus five percents. Doing certain actions loses that. Oh, weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then you and big and spiny, maybe. Oh, this. Cool. So we finished the windmill. That's three events done. And that does look like that's everything for the village outside of like probably getting more. <clears throat> whatchamacallit, you know, like, um, more roads and, and whatnot, hopefully. So then if we go and talk to Laura, we should be able to get the rest of the crap from, like, should be able to tell us the rest of the crap they need. Who are you? Um, I don't know who you are, but... What would you want me to do to your house? A tricycle, okay. Is there anybody home to talk to here? <clears throat> those two plus five percent, any percent always ends with 60% because doing those things would probably take a couple seconds and make the run slower. Yeah. Two five percent. So, okay. So yeah, so you end with 60 because 50% story completion. You gotta finish the story to get the... to the end of the game, to get the credits to roll, basically. And then you get the plus two, or the two five percents because you just don't do those actions that remove them. That makes sense, yeah, yeah. I'm following. <laughs> I'm a little slow, but I'm, I'm getting it. I see what you're saying. Can't go over there yet, but tasty water, nice. Okay. 
I'm just hoping like we can finish this section too with what we have, this house, because then we can just go around and do a bunch of events all at the same time. That's what I'm hoping for at least. Uh, maybe, yeah, tricycle and storage shed. Noise, okay. So then we instantly turn around, go back in here. Oh, stream. Hello. Look, look, Gina's house. It's back to normal. Impressive. I thought you were only a kid. Now look at you. I will cook for you today. Please stay with us for the meal. Here, take this for you, stream. Is it my favorite food again? Oh, no, it's a speed thingy. Okay, so we can run around fast. This pretty keeps you the... If you keep this, your body will become light. Set it to active item and bring your cursor over it. Hold square down as you move and you can move faster. This way, even mom won't be able to catch you. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. So is that how we use like the anti-curse sash or whatever too? Hovering over it and like just holding square? But then like, do we have to do that before we get cursed? Can we just dodge if we know it's coming? I don't know. And vanishing to attempt more chores. So bye, have a good time. <laughs> Enjoy your chores. Uh, good luck. And, uh, I believe in you. <laughs> now, have fun, dude. Thank you for stopping out. I do appreciate you. Um, how should I rebuild the town? It's quiet during the night because the... We're far from the mayor's house. Mommy's snoring is kind of loud now. Because the we're far... Because the we are far from the mayor's house. Does that mean you want to be closer to the mayor's house? She says she can sleep now, too. Uh oh. Wait, so it's it's good that you're far from the mayor's house? I'm so confused. I don't know. I still don't know if like arranging people's houses in a certain way way even matters. <clears throat> even though I admitted I'm a big fan of what's her name now. I'm still curious. Can we give ourselves any more of this like water thing? We can. Okay, well, if I get any more, I'm going to give it to her. Because we have plenty now, and she has none. So, yeah. Um, Max health. Definitely going to give this to her. Even though she can, like, stay far away. So I probably won't give her very many of those. Because since she's, you know, ranged, we don't have to get up close and personal. Which means we're probably not going to get hit as much with her. Okay, but that seems to be everything there. Now here... Noise. God, it's already like way later than I thought it was. I didn't think this was gonna take as long as a dead horned key. I wonder what that's for. Thunder. All kinds of chests. Fire. What are we sitting at for items? Forty-three out of sixty. Okay, we're we're fine so far. Another fruit of Eden. Stairs. If I can find the stairs. Wind. Holy. Oh, we can't like go outside? Huh. Okay. I guess this building serves no use right now. Maybe we do something here later. I don't know. Running 120 isn't much longer than any. That's what it sounds like from what you were saying. Because, like, the only real difference would be doing, like, the extra eight survivors, I think you said, right? And then... Oh, well, wait, no. In any percent, you could just, like, not save any of the survivors then, actually, right? If you finish it with 60... 80% doesn't get any survivors. Yeah, okay. A little bit of a delay, but I figured it out. <laughs> I was able to math. <laughs> Another gourd. Um, I feel like we should have more people. 
For all of these gourds and fruits of Edens and thing that we're getting. Oh god, her defense is better than ours now too. Um, I'm gonna give that to me. The extra health, because like I said, she doesn't like do it as much. Key to enter Duran's room. Oh. Could we have used that? At the, like, the top of the windmill? I mean, it's his windmill. Wait, is this even one of the houses we need to be at? It is, okay. Hey, good to see you. Everything back to the way it was. I don't even know how to thank you. I mean, you said you would let me store shit here. So I'll give you a hand, this old girl hand, to help you on your quest. So basically, we have access to your storeroom. You can use my closet to store items you don't need. Come and drop off items anytime. Still don't understand why we can't just do that at our own house. Seriously, that bugs the shit out of me, but I guess it's fine. Do you have any, like, thing for me to pick up? No. Yeah. Wait. Can't interact with it. Do I have to talk to you? Ah, here we go. Checking some items. Yeah. So you can hold up to 60. Um. Well, until we get... I don't know. We're probably gonna get the fishing pole soon, hopefully. I don't want this, though. That can leave just the manual to tell us like how to play the game or whatever and the rotten fish seems kind of dumb so I'm gonna just leave that here too she's gonna keep a rotten fish in her closet for us theoretical with 100% route would be closer to any percent length than 120 you think because at like half the added time from the four slowest victims oh so yeah 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 that's where I said like if you just dodge those people or not dodge them but just like don't go to those people you think you could save more time uh, Outnet, here we are. Check in on our llama first. I don't know where the event is. Not here. Okay. Upstairs. I mean, it makes more sense for the event to be where the people are, I guess, but whatever. Shit, it's late. We're not going to have time to fish. It's fine. Holy crap, they add a minute each, yeah. Ah, stream, there you are. So being able to save like four minutes just directly from skipping those ones. Well, I mean, you would have to add however long it takes to get the other ones, but say the other ones are 30 seconds each, then that's still, you know, two minutes of save time right there. Keep my promises, just a moment. Fishing pole, please. A fishing rod! Let's freaking go, dude. That's literally exactly what I was hoping for. You're now my favorite person in this town. Got this from Uncle Pike, but I don't really use it. Now it's yours. Hey, don't tell Uncle Pike, okay? How do you use it? I don't really know. Ah, <laughs> oh, sis, that's not fair. Didn't I tell you I always wanted that? What are you talking about? You almost drowned in the pond once, remember? I'm not allowing you to fish. It's too dangerous. That's not fair. I mean... I'll let you borrow it sometime, kid, as long as you promise not to drown. But, like, I've been waiting since we started playing this game. As soon as I got the first set of fish bait, I've been waiting to be able to, like, get some more fish. So, or get some more fish? Two fish. Uh, you know those Muscle Brothers? Just not my type. I mean, I don't have you too close to them, so that should hopefully be fine. Doesn't look like you can climb up. Can we use an item here? That bugs the hell out of me that that's there and we can't, like, do anything. First victim adds potentially the most time, but not necessarily because of the victim. There's a skip we do right around where that victim is that requires avoiding a certain checkpoint to do a sequence break. But the item need, but the item the victim needs is right where that checkpoint is. Oh, that's nice. Sequence break skips over a minute, 30 seconds in cutscenes. I love sequence breaks and stuff in speedruns, man. It's just one of the coolest things to me. To be able to just, you know, skip sections of the game. That the devs never intended. Um, and then, depending on the game, like, then figuring out how to fix the fact that you just sequence break, I think that's really cool, too. Because obviously, you know, they didn't intend it, so <laughs> they didn't plan on you, you doing things the order you did them in. So now you may not have items that you need to be able to do things later in the game, or 
uh, internal like checkpoints might be off or something like that, depending on how the game works. Like it's just it's really cool. Uh, okay, last thing I'm gonna do, and then legit gonna get off because it's after nine, and I gotta take Noodle out. Is I'm going to go to the mayor's house to see if he knows anything about Dran's key. Because we got this key, and I don't know what to do with it. I guess it could be in the dungeon. We didn't check, like, whatever the next floor of the dungeon is. You don't have to. I know I don't have to, but I said I would. And I kind of want to donut myself, I'm not going to lie. Assuming they have any. Going right before closing isn't the best time to, you know. The odd gaffer shop is now open. Purchase items from there. You can't rely on me forever. And he's just going to say the same thing over and over again. Okay. So it's probably the next floor of the dungeon. Where do I want Sora and Kairi? Are they pop figures? I can't remember 100% what you're talking about. If they're pop figures, <coughs> then like sit them on the desk in your room. Because once I set up my room, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably set them up somewhere. He still doesn't sell anything new. Okay. He skips these, though. That's because it skips a big climbing section. Climbing sections are always uh, <laughs> slow, I feel like. It's climbing in and of itself just takes forever. <laughs> oh, the shrinky dinks. Um, I mean, same thing, I guess. So I wouldn't mind like having them sit on a bookshelf or something whenever I get that stuff all set up. So if you don't mind like sitting them on your desk if there's room, then room where they won't like get knocked over and that sounds good to me love ah anyways guys now that we're saved and uh we've done everything that's gonna be it for me tonight i should be back tomorrow night to play some more Baldur's gate with my brother uh we're still slowly working our way through there and then after that we'll be playing something on the ps2 ah yeah it's the next floor okay i thought that was probably it but i just wanted to check we're not going to do it. We're skipping it. That's next week. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I really appreciate you all coming and hanging out and talking with me, BSing with me while we do this stuff. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, a couple days, whenever. Have a good night and uh, be kind to each other. Bye. Oh, and I'm going to try to remember to check out that game sooner or later. Mine's terrible. Memory's terrible. But yeah, yeah. Because honestly, I'm very curious about it, Colt. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Not sure, but either way, it is freaking satisfying as hell. And I love it. Oh, okay, well, I mean, it wasn't a very satisfying... <laughs>